All right, all right. Over here chilling. About to do some wrenching. 1 11 a.m. Man. Never ends over here. Well, check this out. Let me just give you guys a little update. Show you guys what I'm up to over here. I wasn't going to film anything. I just want to get to it. But uh, I might as well show you because I show you guys everything anyway. Uh, look what we got here. My new RC tool car. All right. I wasn't happy with the other one. All right. It was, I don't know. It was, it wasn't bad. It was a great price. All right. But I, I, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. You got to be happy. You got to feel your shit. That way you can work better. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I'm weird like that. All right. I got to feel good. I got to, it's got to be, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I got some parts here from Dan. All right. Um, yeah, what you see here is a freaking mess. Okay. Got a big mess here. It's all goodies. And this is a ton of work as well. So everything has to be organized. Okay. I have to have my shit organized, but I'm going to be unboxing this and putting this together. Okay. Um, I also got another one of these. It's very nice from Harbor Freight. All right. This son of a bitch is kind of heavy. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, my neighbor helped me bring it down here. It was a pain in the ass. And, uh, especially down the stairs. And it's supposed to look like that. So let me unbox this son of a bitch right here and let's get to it. All right. Let's grab my baby here. to the side I'll do this later I'll do that afterwards I got two of them because I want to have one on each side I don't care for the handle up down here all right eventually I'm planning on still getting rid of this table I'll probably move this over there all right I'm probably better off with the damn table but I just gotta start learning how to neaten shit up and uh Use less stuff, all right? If you don't have a table out there, I won't fill it up. If I have tables everywhere, I'm going to fill it up. It's just weird. That's how I am. Uh, let's, let's see how we, how we do this. Oh, yes. I love this axe. All right, first look with the lid up, opened. Yeah, baby, look at that. It's gonna be a nice one. I'm gonna, I like the color, I like everything. It's gonna be nice. All right, 30 inch five drawer mechanics cart. All right, it's gonna be perfect for the RC toolbox that I needed. All right, let's. This is the one I originally wanted from the beginning. All right, man, look at this. I like this color because the tools is, is gonna be more visible. All right, I may even throw some stickers on this guy here. Yes, I will be putting some silicone spray on this sound bitch. <laughs> you know, that's true, right? Put a little, I'll probably use some of that clean shit on it, see it? Definitely, definitely, I'm gonna definitely Protect this one here, take care of it, and organize it. Let's open it up for the first time. There we go. Not bad, man. You can't complain. Price is awesome. I used the coupon. Shit. Uh, you just can't complain, and that's it, and I'm not. And I'm super happy I got it. All right. Let me uh, throw my uh, GM Goodrich sticker over that U.S. General, or I may just keep it there. And put my GM good wrench above it or under it. All right. It's very nice. No oh, shit. They even give you these damn mats. Man, you can't complain, bro. Can't complain. All right. 
Just gotta put this shit together now. What the hell are the wheels? Yeah. Say, look at these. I'll probably put some pry bars or screwdrivers in these holes here, but you can also use these holes as shock. Um, you can put your shocks in them, right? And you can air out the bubbles. You know, you can. It's pretty cool. I on my other one, I've done it already. All right, I had some shocks here, just waiting for the bubbles to come out of the shock bodies. It's pretty cool. Guys, listen. This bitch right here is heavy. All right, try to use one of your buddies to give you a hand. All right. Oh shit, it matches my uh, X2. Now these drawers, they have locks on them. It's pretty cool. So this one here comes with this tray. I like this. All right, I could definitely use this. Definitely use that. And let's get these. Damn, these catchers are heavy too. This is good, man. It's fucking heavy. This shit is heavy. All right. Let me start putting this shit together. Yeah, do the bottom wheels. Put the legs, and this might be a real bitch. If I can't do that by myself tonight, this you gotta pick this up, you gotta put it over the legs. If I can't do it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow, but let me get further with this. Damn, look at these casters, man, huh? You got grease fittings. All right, big difference from the other one that I had. There's all the hardware, a lot of hardware. All right, so, cool. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, still at it. Just went over a few messages as well. I got a ton of messages. Actually, slows me down. But uh, we're getting there. It is 2:50 a.m. and we're not quitting. We're gonna get a little bit further. Uh. Hopefully, let me try to pick this guy. Uh, let me try to pick this guy up on myself. Oh shit! Yes, yeah. So anyway, again, try not to do this shit by yourself. It's fucking not a good idea. All right? Get somebody to help you. But I wound up getting it. I wound up getting it on here by myself. Was not a smart idea, but had to do it. So, let me finish up these bolts and hook up these balancers here, these pistons, and give her a wipe. Okay, guys, back at it. Just got home. I had to return the other side trays that belonged to the four drawer that I used to have, all right? They mistakenly give, them, give me those two when I had bought this, all right? So the ones you're gonna need if you do want a side tray like I do, all right, I'm gonna, I wanna use two, one on each side. I will not be using the handle, all right? The handle that they give you with this is very nice as well. There it is. All right, so um, part number. 62207, all right? And they only have it in red at my store. I do not know if they make the powder coated blue, but I wish they had a black one so the blue and the black would match good, but forget it. I gotta use the red, all right? And you can't just, I can't just go to Harbor Freight and not come home with anything else. Yes, I went there to return the other two and just wanted this, but uh, I had to get some more goodies, bro. You, you guys know. I have RC on my mind every day, honestly. So I'm always thinking about shit every day, um, whatever, things could work, like uh, anything, like, look. See these little brackets, these little L-shaped bends, metal? I saw them, all right, they were for, um, I did, like, I installed some air conditions on it for people the other day, and they had all this hardware and so I saved it. Instead of throwing it out, I saved it. I could probably use this to fit some pipes on some cars. If I want to like customize something or make something work or 
for a wheelie bar. You know what I'm saying? We can make some sort of a... Always have RC in your mind because it could always help you out later on. All right? If you want to put a, a servo, if you want to hold something down, there you go. Those little brackets can help All you right, out. So. I had gotten this before. I didn't. I don't know if I showed it to you guys or not. You can get like a inline spark igniter, spark checker. Right, this helps you with your uh, brap life. All right. If you sometimes people can't tell if it's really sunny out if they're not getting spark. Like I, I check spark f through the spark plug. I put the spark plug to metal and I'll check for spark. But sometimes it's so sunny out that you can't tell. All right. So this hopefully will help you and something quick. You know, just connect it and this will light up if you have spark if it don't light up it don't light up you got no spark I picked up these uh, these pliers they're cheap I will not use these pliers for my real toolbox setup in my garage you know to work on ATVs motorcycles cars trucks I won't use this I don't use this but for, they're they're very good reasonably priced all right, they're, they're really good price. You can't go wrong for RCs. All right, sometimes I need that extra reach. All right, there's been a few times I needed a little bit longer. Needle nose, and here it is. And if this is too thick, I think this might be a little too wide. Guess what? I'll put it right to my bench grinder and grind that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'll make it skinnier. I'll grind it to how I need to use it. Understand? It's, they were cheap. If I mess up, I'll throw them out. All right, these aren't pliers that I will use for heavy work. RCs, hell yeah, why not? Why not? I'm gonna use them. Look at this, even this here. I use this for RCs, all right? Find, hang parts, all right? Stock stuff, look at that, all right? Get, you guys need a tape measure, all right? You don't need nothing big, get something small. These bits are great. They're not good for metal. All right, I've used these before for metal and they would just wear out and go to crap. But they're great for our RC stuff if you need to drill out holes, make holes, all right, put holes in bodies for ventilation, understand? Or, or if you gotta bore things out, right? You can use these for a lot of stuff. If you're, let, like, let's say you wanna drill through uh, carbon fiber or aluminum, you want a little bit neater finish. This will do the job for you, all right? I got skinnier ones too. They're cheap, so I got them. All right, I picked up one of these. All right, look, uh, I love flashlights. All right, but I like stream lights. I have a ton of flashlights, but my favorite flashlights, buy, and I must have, and only will buy new or, or mag lights. All right, they're almost, they're 100% made in the USA, made in California. And I have many of them, many of them all over the place. I have some that are very old still, still use them today. All right, I got even some, the four cell ones, that I don't even use as a flashlight. I have it filled up with gravel, and I use that uh, as protection if, I, if, if needed be. I understand. Anyway, but I did buy this here. Um, what else do we get? Trust me, I don't need no more sockets. I got a ton of sockets, but. I got these because they were cheap. Had to. All right, the metric. All right, little sizes. I got deep sockets. I'm going to use these for RC only. RC related stuff. Only. All right, and I got the shorties. RC related stuff only. All right, I want to use these for my real work, my, my real stuff. All right, so. I also, when we were there. All right, so I got this here. I got. I don't need no damn. Hex drivers, Allen wrenches. Trust me, I got plenty. The reason why I got this, it was cheap. And I don't care if they break or whatever, I just throw them out. If, if worst comes to worst. But the main reason why I got this is, I'm gonna, there's certain sizes here, like a, like a four millimeter, the three. Um, I use, or 4.5 or a five millimeter for exhaust bolts or for tight areas, I chop them, I cut them. All right, sometimes it's very tight. Sometimes I don't want to take, I don't want to remove the whole, the, the exhaust to get to my header, all right? Uh, l let's just say this here, all right? This is the version two dominated pipe, right? This is a, a two piece, thank God, because if it was a one piece, it would be a bitch. 
I, definitely with the one piece, I would definitely probably wouldn't need this. All right, so you want to get to your exhaust header. You want to torque them down because sometimes they get loose, right? I don't feel like taking this whole shit apart. All right, loosening up the seals. I had a nice tight seal to get to my damn header bolt. Understand? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, this will definitely have to be moved. So what I will do is move this. I won't break the seal on my on my uh, pipe hose here. This hose, and I will try to fit an Allen head in here, Allen wrench in here. This guy here. But even this is even this here is a little too long. So I'll cut it. I'll cut it to size until it fits here. Understand? And then I'll just torque them down, yank on them, okay? That's why I bought these cheap shits, all right? Just for that, um, just for that, just to help me out with that. And I can carry them with me. Like sometimes I'll carry my tool pit bag with me, right? And I'm out there using the tools or whatever. Sometimes you let people borrow tools or whatever. You, hopefully your friends will bring the tools back to you. Sometimes they forget. Shit, shit's going on and you know how that goes and then all of a sudden you're without a tool all right or you're using a tool out there or you forget one out there it's, sometimes people forget tools out there so if you have these cheap shits if you do forget it out there it's okay you didn't you didn't forget your main tools like your good shit your MIPs right your DDM hardened steel uh, hex drivers your 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 real tools I understand all right, so we also, I got this here. I don't know where I'll be mounting this. And I also got this, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna use this. I gotta start using gloves more often, right? Especially when you're dealing with Nitro Blast, Nitro Force, uh, electric motor cleaners, um, brake cleaners, all types of shit. I gotta start getting the habit using gloves. And you, you can never go wrong all right, with more can holders. All right, I got spray silicone all over the place in this house. Trust me. All right, you don't want to walk in this floor uh, with socks on. You will fall on your ass. Trust me. Let's get back to this. All right, so check it out. My car has got the wings on now. All right, this tray may be for my laptop that I never use. So I, I may even just get rid of the damn laptop down here. But, uh. I definitely need at least one of them, but I got two now. All right, so I do rebuild carburetors. I could probably rebuild my carbs on this here. Good enough. And I do rebuild nitro engines. So these little side trays, I'm, this is, I like this tray better than the one I used to have for that cart. It's much wider, so a little bigger. All right, so that's, that's a plus. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. The red and the blue. All I need now is a white, red, white, and blue. Perfect day too. Today's Fourth of July. <laughs> but uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, another thing here that I I have to switch around right now is that I do not like how this is. Like when I when I'm not using this, and I don't want to make this so wide. When I want to put it away. It interferes with this here. Like if I have my spray bottles, my spray silicones here or something or paints, or maybe my shock oils, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Or I could do anything there. I could put my shock oils. I got a whole shock oil collection of different weights I have in stock. I may have it there, I don't know. <clears throat> um, it's gonna interfere. It's gonna hit, it's gonna touch. So I may drop this down a bit. I can make new holes here, make my own holes, or hopefully this will fit here. It'll be flush with this, hopefully. The you know, only bad part is I gotta use my back more, bend over more. All right, so that's it. This here was bent. I had to straighten it out with some pliers. That's it. Yeah, very nice. All right, so, all right, let's keep going forward with this. Okay, guys, so here's another look. I moved this all the way down. 
I did not uh, bother to drill any new holes. I used the holes out with here. All right, so I, I don't know. I'll probably put some cans there or something. All right, keep this here. I really wished I had the blue shelves, these side panels. I really, either the blue or black, man. I wish they were black or blue, man. What are you gonna do? I'm not digging this red here, but. Okay, guys, so I have it over there now, temporarily, until I take this guy out, and then I will open up the wings. All right, but for now, I think I'm gonna start filling her up, reorganizing all this, and adding more shit, right? Why not? And, yeah, and then once this is out, I'll open up her wings. I'll probably only use this if I need to rebuild the carb or a nitro engine or whatever and I can start putting in the cans yeah that's what I'll do all right so that's it I really like this man all right another thing is I, I think I may get this for upstairs in my garage man as well and if you want you can get some wing nuts take these lock nuts out and get wing nuts and then that way you could loosen it by hand and then that way you could fold this completely over. This will be wide opened. All right, so and just in case if you guys keep sockets here, you know, ratchets or whatever, you know, I'm not gonna be using this like that. This is for RC shit, so. All right, so I don't, we'll see. Now I can clear that up. I may, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna work this out. All right, I may use this top part as a charging station, I don't know. Maybe up there. All oh, right, we'll see. Let's see. All right, I just want my all my tools in one area. All right, all my good stuff here that I do not want to lose. All right, so that's what I, my mission is. Here's a look at the prizes I won at the racetrack on the Baja event day, HBI race. Pretty cool. I got uh, another piston stop tool. All right, I try not to use these to torque flywheels down and stuff like that or clutches um i only pretty much use the piston stop tools on uh on my engines to use it like a handle you know just ddm part number they were very nice enough to donate those parts okay these are great to have the little shorties great tools great all right guys so here it is i i just put the handle on it's the last piece All right, I won't be uh, putting this on here just yet. All right, I'm definitely gonna find a spot for this somewhere. Probably when the wings are open, the side trays are open, I can fit this in there. All right. No, I could probably even put it here. Damn, just like that. That magnet's strong, boy. <clears throat> yeah. Or even once I have this over there, I may even put this to the side you know yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but for now this is my my new RC toolbox I'm excited I'm loving it and now I just gotta organize everything the right way and we are good we are ready for jobs some some real jobs all right I gotta get back to this here man all right.